How are you today, sir? Fantastic. And you? Absolutely wonderful. Great. I love the MMA um, and I love their forums. And, you know, you and I have had a chance to speak year over year over year over year. Yes. I, I shouldn't be telling you <laughs> year over year over year over year. It shows both of my, our age. Yeah, but, my, my hair is much different color right, than yeah, yours. Yeah, no, so. fair enough. I get exactly where you're coming from. But we both see a lot of changes yes. in this ecosystem as a whole. I mean, I remember when people back in 2006 were saying, this is going to be the year of mobile. Yes. And now it's 2012, and here we are. And not only have we surpassed the idea that this is the year of mobile, right. but engagement and contextual and hyper based and local search and all of these other things are now components within the ecosystem that are cross platform. But let's right. talk about the mobile giving and let's talk about where that fits within this ecosystem and then what's new in that arena. Yeah, so I think of. Uh, when you think in, about the Mobile Giving Foundation, you know, think about our constituency being those thousands of nonprofits out there who, like other major brands, and they are in fact major brands, have to find new customers and they have to engage those customers. So mobile has the same attributes for those charities than, they, than any brand has when it looks to engage uh, a, new, a new customer. But they're a little, uh, they're a little, they ha they're a little more challenged, and that challenge comes in from, from the standpoint that they tend to be less uh, technologically oriented, they tend to be less marketing oriented. So when they look at the mobile landscape, they they become a little bit confused by virtue of of what's there, the rapid change in technology, and how to use that technology to engage their customer base. So I don't necessarily think that that's a difference between a lot of the brands that are out there right now that are looking for an R. ROI and they're looking right. to be able to collect that data sort of the whole way through and they want to be able to make sure that they're not only protecting the security of the user right. but they're still looking to maintain not only the brand equity but get to an ROI or get to a purchase or get to a point of sale of some sort. However, you know, so we're talking, You're right, there's, you know, no, the, there's limited difference. Yeah, there's What we're talking about is a point in time. So right. the difference is right. not relative to any substantive issue the difference is just simply we're probably in the charity space we're five years ago okay. where brands were. So same right. issues, same same opportunities. And to a large extent, because of the difference in time, there's you know there's there's a lot of advantages, right? So what we're doing as a foundation is really focusing on those things that impact ROI for charities, that impact a sense of trust, that encourages them to come in and engage uh, in the medium, right? Is, because uh, it is, mobile is something that is inescapable. For it them. is inescapable. It's inescapable. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of the ecosystem, right? I mean, Correct. Just, that's a, just a, an easy way, an, an easy way to give. <laughs> right. But. And to find new, acquire new donors. Uh, right. And to engage those donors, right? Okay. And so then what are some of the challenges that you're seeing um, that still exist within that ecosystem? And what are you doing here at the Mobile Marketing uh, Forum in New York? Well, uh, again, mobile giving is very is really kind of a subset of mobile marketing, right? We're trying to take that mobile channel and make it make it viable and make it real for charities. So we're focused on um, on impacting positively ROI for charities. Uh, we've engaged with, for example, Cineverse as one of our uh, key corporate Fantastic. sponsors. Fantastic, company. right? Uh, part of our mission is trying to get that wireless ecosystem to understand how how they can impact philanthropy. Right. Cineverse is a great example of a company that has a long-standing relationship with philanthropy. They understand how their technology relates to communities, and we're thankful for a sponsorship that they've um, uh, placed with us to essentially say, all right, we want to help take mobile giving and make that a part of our corporate social responsibility effort. And we, we can use that type of sponsorship to impact ROI for charities. Part of that is trust, right? We have to have charities able to trust mobile, and we have to have donors being able to trust mobile as a medium for them to uh, donate and for them to engage. Is there a is there still a disconnect between the actual um, um, charity on the other side too? Because I mean, some people are like, "Yeah, listen, I don't I don't mind giving on my phone, and I totally get that, and that's okay for me to do." But yeah. am I getting but, to the right organization, and right. is it getting into the right hands? Exactly. So that's part of the whole trust issue. So one of the things that we've also done recently to address trust 
is come down in favor of more rigid standards with respect to what charities have to meet in order to access okay. mobile, right? And part City of that effort on our part is we've now branded with the uh, Council of Better Business Bureaus, okay. with the BBB Wise Giving Alliance. So the Mobile Giving Foundation is actually now known as the BBB Mobile Giving Foundation. That is specifically designed to communicate to the consumers, to donors, that when you make a donation to through the BBB Mobile Giving Foundation, you are making a donation to a trusted, qualified charity. Your money is going to go to that charity and is spent in such a way that supports both transparency and accountability to mission. Two last questions. Yes. One is, how do the users out there find the right charity to be able to give to? Is that a searchable mechanism or is it something that they have to visually see? And then, well, we'll answer that one first. Well, like anything in text, right? So the so there's really kind of two components to this. The first component is going to be trust, or text. And that's going to be based on a, a consumer's going to see or a donor's going to see a call to action. They're going to respond to that call to action. If they're searching for a charity, they can search based off of websites. They can search based off of, of text engagement. Or they could just simply go to our site, BB Mobile Giving Foundation, and find charities that are actually using using that. Which but was it, the final question that I was going to ask, so you actually asked that. was a good part of my answer. We consolidate and identify and promote and uh, do what we can do to help aid that discovery process. And we're trying to bridge uh, the world of text, if you will, to the world of mobile applications and mobile web. Right. So those that's a natural extension, of course. Um, and we're very eager to uh, help charities uh, down that path it, by providing kind of the enabling technology and the enabling policies to make that take place. Well, you know me, always one final, one more question. How does the charities out there get in touch with you if they want to be able to engage in this type of campaign? Uh, go to mobilegiving.org, uh, drop us a line, and uh, we will be happy to engage. We're, Jim we're delighted. Thank you very much for taking the opportunity to speak with us today. I hope we get a chance again for an update. Thank you. Again, we always look future. forward to it. Always. Been speaking right. with Mr. Jim Mattis of the Mobile Giving Foundation, better known as the... BBB Mobile Giving Foundation. There it is. I am Tony Sklar at the Mobile Marketing Forum in New York 2012 with BFTV.